Hi everyone, my name is Gleb Alexandrov and today we're gonna talk about light texture in Blender and how to breathe life into dull scenes. First, we're gonna start with ambient lighting, very dull. Then we'll add a sun lamp and put some obstacles between it and the camera. Then we're gonna play with spotlight and light texture itself. Light patterns is very cool, first way to achieve it is to actually block the light. In another words, to do what photographers do every time. You know, they just use a cookie. So, create a sun lamp and look at our exposure that we've got here. So, create a cube, scale it and put it in front of a camera. What we need to do is to watch how shadows are projected onto the geometry and what we, do we want to emphasize and what do we want to hide. We can move some planks away from the camera, make them smaller to achieve the variance in the shadows. Another trick is to make a semi-transparent plane with texture that will serve as a light cookie or a gobo. Just create transparent shader and put some texture in it. Okay, that looks fantastic and after achieving the interesting light pattern, just rotate the sun lamp. Who knows, maybe we'll get even more interesting result in terms of shadow and light distribution. Okay, fine, that was sun lamp and some obstacles, very easy technique to reproduce in Blender, try it out, you'll love it. Another way to achieve the dappled light is to use the light texture. Probably the best way to describe the light texture is to imagine a projector in the cinema. Let's see, it's select the spotlight, we need to have the spotlight, not the sun lamp. And go to material editor. Now I'm creating the material just like I do for a normal 3D models, but for light source. Here I select in some random image that has a good contrast and it has a very bright spots and very dark spots and that will work well. Oh, and note that I'm using the normal texture coordinate mode together with mapping node. And now I'm using the curves node to turn up the contrast of the lighting. And we're already getting some very nice result. I like how it looks, really. Now I'm just playing with location. And basically what I'm doing here, I'm searching for the most visually pleasing pattern. And at the same time, I'm trying to emphasize the book, because the book is the subject of this image, I think. So I'm trying to cast, not cast a shadow, but trying to spotlight this great book by talking. So here is the spotlight and the light texture result, and I think it looks really, really awesome. That's it, I hope you like it. My name is Gleb Alexandrov, and this is the first tutorial from the series of tutorials devoted to digital lighting. Track updates at creativestream.com. I even like to call it the open project because I want to hear your suggestions on what lighting tutorial to do next.